Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be a Q&A video. So I love doing Q&A videos with you guys. Um, it's just kind of like a casual style hang out with friends and chit chat type video. Um, there will be sensi questions, there will be non-sensi questions, there will be personal questions, there will be just general questions, um, but that's what I love about this. I am a total open book and it just kind of gives us a chance to get to know each other a little bit better. Uh, I really enjoy watching these Q&A style videos, so I decided to start doing these. Um, gosh, has it been? It's been over a year because I started doing them when we were living in California and we've been in Idaho for a year now which is crazy, but um, I like to do these once a month, but sometimes life gets a little bit crazy and we skip a month or two. <laughs> the last Q&A was actually done back in January, so we are definitely well overdue. So we are going to answer some questions today. So I'm really excited. Um, we have, I think, 11 questions. We have one email and then some questions that were commented on the last Q&A video that we did back in January. So if you have a question you would like me to answer, um, you can leave your question down, down below in the comments section of this video or you are able to email them into me personally at roberrywax at gmail.com and I'm happy to answer it in the next Q&A segment. So like I said, this is just something kind of fun to do and it's just casual, low-key, just like we're hanging out with friends and chit-chatting. So like I said, we do have a few questions, so let's go ahead and dive right in. The first one is gonna be from my friend Justine. So Justine actually emailed her question in, and she says, my first question is, what skincare do you use, and what's your skin type, if you don't mind me asking? Here's the, I'm a total open book. There are no real, there's probably a couple of questions that are off limits, <laughs> but for the most part, like the, I'm a total open book, so I, I don't mind questions like this at all. So. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. she says your skin is always glowing and beautiful and I understand all skin types are different but I'm curious what you use thank you so so much especially because I feel like for me I'm kind of insecure when it comes to my skin and um, the reason being I had really I shouldn't say bad um, I, I struggled with it in high school I think like most high schoolers do but um, I had not I mean I struggled with zits. <laughs> I struggled with zits and I have larger pores and I've got a little bit of scarring from where, um, where I did have, um, some pimples and things that had just left some scarring, like I said, and I just have larger pores. So it's not something I feel super confident in, in terms of my skin. I, um, but I do take skincare, uh, seriously. I feel like it should not be neglected. I know, especially at the end of the day when you're like, gosh it would be so much easier especially like after a long day at work and you're like i just want to go home and i just want to get my comfy clothes and make the world go away like i totally understand that but always take off your makeup always 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 take off your makeup i feel like and i i'm not i let me just put it out there i am not a makeup guru or expert or skincare expert or guru or anything like that um, i'm just telling you what i what i personally um implement in my life in terms of like what I know like I need to do and I, I do have some products here some holy grail products and products I really am enjoying um but the biggest thing always keep your skin clean always keep your I don't care how tired you are <laughs> I don't care if you had a night out on the town you're coming home at two or three o'clock in the morning those days are so over for me I'm like eight o'clock okay when is it is it bedtime yet <laughs> but like I, I don't care how long your day was make sure you are washing your face you don't want to sleep in your makeup I know that's like one of the worst things that you can do for your skin is not cleaning it so always make sure your skin is nice and clean free of any makeup that you wore from the day and even if you went out and you didn't wear makeup that that day I don't wear makeup every single day um, I, I don't have that kind of energy, <laughs> but um, like, so if I'm even going out and running errands and things like that, like there's dirt and dust particles and things that are just in the environment that are going to settle on your skin. I don't even care if you didn't go out. It's always good at the end of the day, just wash your face, make it nice and clean and it's fantastic. So always, always, always make sure that you wash your face for sure. Um, in terms of like what products I use, um, let's go ahead and start with my Holy Grail. Um, since we were just saying like, wash your face, wash your face, girlfriends. <laughs> 
or boyfriends or whoever, make sure you're washing your face. Um, my tried and true, my holy grail, I have to have it, is the Purity Made Simple Cleanser. I love this cleanser, it's so good. I actually have it in the larger size that QVC offers with the pump top, it's fantastic. Um, but the Purity Made Simple is such a fantastic cleanser. Oh, so good. This is by Philosophy, and what I love about this is that it really gets in and cleans your skin so good it removes all of your waterproof makeup any of your like bulletproof makeup this is going to take it off but it's also going to be gentle on your skin and so gentle that even if you get it in your eyes i know this is one of the demos that they do on qvc is that you can actually like rub it into your eyes and it's not going to make your eyes sting um that's a real thing <laughs> like i've tried it because I, I saw the demo and i was like no there's no way and so like years and years and years ago when i first got it i was like okay Okay, I gotta try this for myself. It really doesn't make your, your eyes sting. It's the greatest thing and it does the best job at removing makeup, which is awesome. So Purity Made Simple by Philosophy, fantastic cleanser, my holy grail for sure. Um, another product that's definitely a holy grail, some other things, these are really the only two like really like holy grail products, but um, actually even at that, like, yeah, both of these I'd say are, are holy grail for like skincare. The next thing that we're gonna talk about is um, this Derma E Skin Restore Advanced Peptides and Collagen Moisturizer. I have, that's some, some of the things that we're gonna talk about. I have really oily skin, but so even if you have oily skin, still use a moisturizer. For me personally, I only use the moisturizer at night. I don't use any moisturizer like in the beginning of the day, unless I feel like, I don't know, I'm just gonna have like a low key day and not do anything, then maybe I'll, do a moisturizer during the day, but that's like slim to none. Like more times than not, I'm not doing a moisturizer in the morning, it's just at night. Um, but yeah, so this one's by Derma E. So it's got the advanced peptides and collagen in this moisturizer, which is really nice. It feels really good on my skin. My skin doesn't react to it. Um, and I love it. So love, love, love that. That Those would be my two like really holy grail products. The other products, I'm, I, I just kind of like go through uh, different products, um, either stuff that I get in my FabFitFun box or maybe some products that my bestie Melanie is trying out. Uh, Melanie is Mr. Kong's mom here on YouTube and she, if you are looking for a skincare or makeup guru, you've got to go check her channel out because she, well, she loves home fragrance too. So of course you're going to love her channel, but she mostly does skincare and makeup. So she's, she's my guru. So if there's ever anything that she'll be like, oh my gosh, you got to try this. I think you're really going to like it or something that she's trying that she really, really likes. Then I'll, you know, give those a try um, as well. Uh, if you are not already subscribed to her channel, I will link her channel down below if you are interested in, in that, in that good stuff from her. She's, super knowledgeable it's fantastic so um this one so um right now what i'm using is um dr loretta intense replenishing serum uh serum really like this one uh this is actually an empty little like sample bottle it's empty but i'm keeping it because i definitely want to repurchase it because i really really like it it is the wander beauty dive in moisturizer uh really like that and then um a hyaluronic acid overnight mask love that too really really nice um and then i'll also do an exfoliating masks masks are super i don't know i really like masks i really feel like you're really treating yourself so get yourself some masks uh i really like this one this is an exfoliating mask from unique um i really like this and uh, i will do this one usually usually like at least once a week. I really like doing this one. Unfortunately, I know they're discontinuing the exfoliating mask, so I did pick up a couple more. <laughs> um, but I would say exfoliating uh, your skin is something that's really good to do on a regular basis, just kind of getting off those dead skin cells so that way your skin can glow a little bit better. So um, love the exfoliating mask from unique but this isn't something that i'm going to be like super hard I, I feel like there's other masks out there that will offer some exfoliating properties um this one's nice and it's gentle on my skin so i i like it but i'm not going to be like super heartbroken when this is completely gone and i can't get it anymore i'm sure there's some other masks out there but this is something i am enjoying right now so this next product is one that um, I definitely would like to repurchase for sure. I'm coming down to like my last 
to Carpules here. Um, and I definitely can see myself repurchasing this. I think I got this one in a FabFitFun box. Um, this is the Hydro Plus by, I think it's Babor. Um, so the this is a super interesting little situation. So there are, there are these like glass Carpules and you have this little like tool, this little like plastic tool that you'll just like pop over the top of the um little capsule that come that comes in this little kit and you break it open i think this is glass so just be careful so you break it open and then you will just kind of dab this on your face and it's re i really really like this um i did definitely see a difference this year with this this is the first year we have lived in idaho and we spent majority of our lives my husband and i spent majority of our lives in california so winters are a little bit cooler here <laughs> i love it i absolutely love it um we wouldn't trade it for the world but it is definitely cooler and my skin has felt drier and coming from somebody who has oily skin uh it was kind of a weird thing so even though i have oily skin and even though I struggle with the oil during like the summer months and stuff. It definitely, I could feel like the lack of oil in my skin during the winter time. So it was kind of a weird thing, uh, but I really, really liked this particular product. So there's that. So those are just a few of the things that I really like. <laughs> Again, I'm not like completely married to any like one thing except for these two products. Um, the Purity Made Simple by Philosophy and the Derma E Moisturizer. Definitely like can't live without these products. Everything else, I just kind of have fun like trying some new things. Um, but if there's something that like your skin is reacting really, really well to, just keep that up. <laughs> You'll definitely keep purchasing that. Okay, um, next, but always wash your face, always wash your face. Okay, so my second question is, if you were, I love, I love this question. Second question is, if you were to choose a brick that should be available in the brick selection in Scentsy Club, what would it be? You can choose more than one. And she did a little winky face because she knows I have commitment issues. <laughs> and I'm like, but I don't want to pick just one. <laughs> I always feel like I need to have like a runner up or I, need, I just need to have options. So thank you for allowing me the option to choose more than one. Um, she says, I really think Amazon Rain should be one as that has been a top scent and available year round in the catalog for ages. I love this question. Um, and yes, I, I do have some thoughts. And I also agree with you that um, I think Amazon Rain should definitely be a brick um, option in through Scentsy Club. For, and by the way, for anyone who might be newer here, hello and welcome. I hope you'll stick around. This is a brick. <laughs> so when we're talking about bricks, it is this massive hunk of wax here. This is a bar. So you can see there is a significant size difference here. You're getting almost six bars in one brick. You can see the size difference here. It's fantastic. Bricks are offered year round through Scentsy Club, which is our subscription service. Um, otherwise, if they are specific, like special brick promotions that happens, always once a year during the holidays and sometimes we get them during the springtime which this year we are blessed with a spring brick event which i'm super excited for <gasps> i love it so love bricks they're fantastic especially to get the best bang for your buck in a scent that you absolutely love so to answer your question i did pick three <laughs> and let me let me explain so i i agree with you on amazon rain so that doesn't count as one of mine but i totally agree um i would say i would love to see rainbow red uh rainbow red is like the love of my life right now <laughs> for the scentsy spring and summer season i'm just so happy that scentsy decided to bring this and add it to the spring and summer season and i think that the reason why i feel like this would be a good addition is because it's just it's fruity and it's perfect because I, I want to see, I don't want to say I want to see more variety, but I would want to keep bricks that are like different. Like, so we have a floral with Luna. We have clean breeze. So you've got that clean element. We have jammy time. We've got some freshness there. We've got some floral there. We've got coconut lemongrass. We've got some citrus there. We've got baked apple pie. We've got it. We're covering our bakery lover. So you want to make sure that you are like not having all bricks available just in one specific scent category. Um, but this one I just, I love. 
I feel like this is a really great fruity scent. Um, so I would want to see this one, Rainbow Red, made in a brick. Um, I also decided I would add Make a Splash <laughs> because Make a Splash would be a great one to add for like a fresh aquatic kind of brick scent that would be available through Sensei Club. I think that would be a great one. I think that would be fantastic. And then last but not least, and the reason why I decided to go with three is because those two are just fantastic scents and then this one i feel like is just different on its own and it would be mickey mouse and friends i think that would be super cool to do a licensed brick that would be available through scentsy club um we have done a licensed brick with the walt disney world 50th anniversary um iridescent brick that was super fun so i think if we could offer maybe one or two licensed bricks through scentsy club i feel like that would be really awesome so i would pick mickey mouse and friends because it's a great scent it's peachy and like you said about amazon rain it's been around for ages so i feel like this would be a great one to be able to offer through scentsy club as a brick for a licensed brick which would be i think just fun and different so that would be awesome that would be my reasons and my picks so there you have it i hope my choices were justine approved <laughs> so thank you so so much for writing in so our next question comes from Jessica and Jessica asks would Sean consider doing some sensi videos with you so I am smiling because Sean has recently um in the last like few weeks um he has been doing some sensi videos with me and it's been so so fun and you guys have shown so much love and support towards those videos so thank you so so much um it means it means a lot to both of us uh my husband Sean and I are both doing this sensi thing together and it's always been uh, basically just me in front of the camera he wasn't really interested on being on the internet at that time <laughs> uh, but now that we are doing this full time together uh, he's like why the heck not you know and you guys have been so kind to him so um, he's been like yeah sure why not so we've been basically doing first sniffs together so far who knows maybe we'll implement some other videos we'll see but he really does a lot more like behind the scenes stuff but he is definitely he is definitely going to be coming into some of my sensi videos with me so um thank you so much. and this was like i said this was asked back in january when he wasn't doing videos with me besides the weekend vlogs um but now he is doing some sensi videos so i hope you guys have been enjoying them so thank you so much jessica Okay, so the next question comes from our friend Nicole, and Nicole asks, has Sensi ever done bubble bath? That would be so cool. And Melissa actually did respond to this and say, and she said, I remember something called bubble bath smoothie, and it came in like seven cents, jammy time was one, jammy time, excuse me, was one, and you could wash your hair and skin with it. I think it was for kids. Yes, Melissa, ding, 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 you get the point. <laughs> because yes, we did have, we had a whole kids line, which was super fun. Um, I don't think it did that well, which is why it's not around anymore. But yes, it was, there was like a bubble bath smoothie. And yeah, you're exactly right. You could use it as bubble bath, hair wash, body wash, all of the things. So, and I think you're right. I think there were like seven cents. I think one was, Candy, cr was it Candy Craze or Candy Crave? Candy Crave? Candy Craze. Candy Crave. Candy Crave, Jammy Time. I think Gleeful Grape was one. It was A is for Apple. I'm trying to remember. I think Oodles of Orange. <gasps> I don't know if that I don't know if that was one of them, but I know Oodles of Orange was actually a part of our kids collection, I believe. Yeah, so yes, to answer your question, yes, we did have bubble bath like a bajillion years ago. <laughs> we did. Um, so there there's that. Who knows? Maybe they'll bring it back. I don't I don't know. Um where we did the Sensi Soak and then Sensi decided to take it away. I just I don't know if they're gonna continue with like the bath type products anymore. We did bath bombs. I loved the bath bombs. I thought they did well, but clearly they pulled them, so I don't know that they did well. So I they may just stop trying with bath products. <laughs> I don't know, but to answer your question, yes, we we did do a bubble bath at one point. Thank you so much, Nicole. Okay, next one is from our friend Susan, and Susan says I really did some damage during the flash sale. I can't wait to see your haul. Can you redeem party rewards during the flash sale? So this um, was actually, was this last month? I think this was last month. Um, 
So this was actually asked around the time we did the last flash sale. So not to worry, you didn't miss anything. I promise you didn't miss anything. I would never let a flash sale happen without notifying you guys first. I don't care if Sensi tells us like the same day, they're like, yes, a flash sale is going to happen and it's starting in like five minutes. Don't worry, I will hop onto the old interwebs and I will let you guys know what's happening. <laughs> so don't worry there, you didn't miss anything. This was from the last flash sale. Um, so this is a great question though. She asks, can you redeem party rewards during the flash sale? So what she's meaning is party rewards um, when you're hosting a party or you have a shopping link open and you are accruing orders and you're earning rewards, rewards meaning you earn half price items that are available and you also earn free credits that are available to you. Unfortunately, you cannot. So you cannot redeem any um, party rewards towards clearance products, towards flash sale items, towards licensed products, towards ch ch charitable cause. You cannot um, apply your party rewards towards the whiff box, which is super, super random. Um, you can do bundle and saves, but no bundle and saves that um, involve a $50 warmer and no uh, two warmers. And then obviously no like licensed bundles either. So uh, such a bummer, such, such a bummer that you can't redeem party rewards towards flash sale items. But um, I think why Sensi does that is because they see, okay, you're either getting the free product or you're getting the screaming good deal from the flash sale. It's like you're kind of double dipping in that way. So they're just kind of like choose one or the other. But the thing with rewards is that you can't even like take the full like retail value of like a clearance product or a flash sale product and apply it towards rewards. Like it's just, it's not, the system doesn't even allow us to use it as an option. So such a bummer, but I hope that helps. Thanks so much, Susan. Okay, and next question is from our friend Lori. Hi, Lori. Lori says, I just love you so much. I love you too, Lori. Thank you so much. Um, I do have a question. How long is the shelf life of pods? Some that are older just don't seem as strong as the new ones, or is it just my imagination? Thanks so much. So I'm glad you asked this. Um, I There is no like for sure answer that I am aware of for the like actual shelf life of pods, but I don't think you're going crazy and I don't think it's your imagination that you that like older pods seem like not as strong. I think I would agree with you there. I feel like the shelf life is fairly long. Like I've got some pods that are like a couple of years old and I still feel like they're strong, but I have gotten some, what I believe to be fairly old pods from like the flash sale. Like we, we had gotten like some flash sale pods um, that were available in like blueberry cheesecake and I think pink haze was one. And they, I could smell them, but they were very light. Definitely not as strong as like you were saying, like some newer pods that you would purchase. So there might be something to that. My suggestion would be just make sure you're at least storing them. So this, these are pods. This is why I wanted to show you this. So this is, it's different from a bar. So this is our like waxless fragrance um, situation. <laughs> so instead of wax, you have these plastic casings that are filled with fragrance beads inside. So they'll come in this twin pod pack. I would say just make sure you're keeping them in the clamshell and then storing them somewhere where it's cool and dry. I wouldn't be storing these in, um, in like the garage or anything where it can get hot during the summertime. I would keep these um, in a cool, dry place for sure. The other thing I did want to mention is that there are some pods that the beads will discolor. Um, don't feel like that that means your beads are bad. Your beads are not bad. <laughs> um, also, I don't know if you're even gonna be able to see this very well, but this is like one of the like sure, like this scent for sure will always discolor, but it always, the, the fragrance typically will, will last a good long time. Um, but this will definitely like discolor before the time you use it more times than not. And it's winterberry apple tea. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but the, um, yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to see, but like already the inside of this clamshell is turning yellow and getting discolored. Same with the fragrance beads, the fragrance beads inside, instead of being like a clear or white, they'll kind of start to turn like a yellow and that's okay. Like it's, there's, they're not going bad. It's just what types of fragrance oils are used in that particular scent that will sometimes discolor. But um, yeah, I, so I, I don't have an answer. 
<laughs> I don't know what the actual shelf life is. I know I have some that are a few years old and they still perform well. The only thing I can think of is when I had purchased some uh, pods during like a flash sale um, that I assume are pretty old because they were never available in our region. Um, yeah, we, I had gotten them and they just, they didn't have a very strong scent to them. I could smell them, but they just weren't very strong. So I assume that they're probably older. It's different. I feel like when it comes to wax bars, wax bars are totally different. Um, because actually the longer that your fragrance oils sit in wax, it actually cures longer. And so it should like actually become stronger over time. So different from wax to pods. So I hope that helps. Thanks so much, Lori. Okay. Next one is from our friend, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. And Stephanie says, would Sean consider doing some tutorials on knife cutting? Julianne diced and the onion rings. I love watching him cut vegetables up and he makes it look so easy, but I just can't do it. Now you might be wondering what <laughs> like her husband cooks on here. Um, yeah. So my husband and I do uh, weekend vlogs from time to time and sometimes you will see him cook. We're kind of like trying to find our rhythm again. Honestly, I feel like we've been trying to find our rhythm since the holidays. <laughs> Here we are in April <laughs> and we're trying to find our rhythm, but um, no, you will see him do some kitchen prep, some meal prep and see some cutting and stuff of vegetables and, and things um, on the weekend vlogs. But also my husband has a cooking channel that he has recently started up and started um, putting some videos and stuff up so that you can see like what types of meals we're cooking and how he's making them and his suggestions and opinions on how the recipe turned out. So um, you can definitely check those videos out. But I did ask him before I came in here to start filming I was like, hey, so Stephanie wants to know if you would do like a little tutorial. And you should have seen his face. He looked like a deer in headlights. He's like, uh. <laughs> so I'm thinking, yes. So um, I, I talked to him and he said, yeah, ab absolutely. Um, so it's sounding like probably he'll do like a small like tutorial, like portion or like segment in one of his like upcoming videos for his channel. It wouldn't be on this channel. It would be on his channel. So I will link his uh, channel down below in the description so you can subscribe and check out that tutorial that may be coming here. Hopefully sooner rather than later, we're kind of trying to get him back on track with uh, uploading um, videos and stuff, but we're, we're definitely getting, in fact, that's what he's doing right now. He's actually editing a cooking video. <laughs> so we are definitely getting back up and running for sure. Okay. Thank you so much, Stephanie. So definitely be on the lookout there. Okay. Next comment or next question rather is from our friend Debbie. And Debbie says, do you ever see Sensi making the old warmers again? Whether it was for warmer of the month or special holidays, like some of the ones that were sent out for the mystery warmer. Um, I love the fact that they were doing like the mystery warmer bundles. I think that's super, super awesome. Um, I'm hoping that we will start to see this happen. And I'm hoping that maybe we'll do like a bring back my warmer promotion. And I, I am hopeful. I am hopeful. I don't know of any information. I, I don't know that like this may become a thing at some point. I have no idea, but um, I'm hopeful, especially where Sensi had done the Christmas favorites warmers from the holiday, the holiday season last year, they brought back, was it four or five? They brought back four or five of some Christmas favorites, uh, warmers that had been retired for a little bit. So that makes me hopeful that maybe we will do like a bring back my warmer or do something like that, like summertime favorites, beachy favorites, Christmas favorites, like something like that, where they bring back a set amount. Like it's hard because they have to fabricate, they have to make these warmers, right? And all the warmers are hand painted, handcrafted, um, hand blown glass, all of the things. So it's not super easy. It's much harder to do that than just, you know, whip up some bars or hand pour some bricks. It's, uh, there's a lot more that goes into the warmers, which is why, and, and you have to make sure that you make enough to be able to offer a promotion like that. But I'm hoping that that could be something that we could see in the future would be something like bring back my warmer, but I don't know of anything for sure, but I am hopeful since they did the Christmas favorites warmers this last holiday season. So fingers, toes, and eyes crossed. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. Yeah. The, uh, those mystery warmer bundles, like there were some really cool warmers that people were getting like 
some really old warmers that like I would die to get my hands on like some really really nice warmers okay so thank you so much Debbie all right next question is from my friend Karen hi Karen and she says love the wedding question I'm married 37 years this year my husband isn't one for rings but he couldn't wear his at work for safety reasons well since he begin to make the wax clamshells recyclable so I think I, I I'm I'm wondering if you mean like have some kind of a system or program where they send the clamshells back to Sensi, and I don't like to be able to reuse that way. Um, and that I, I don't know that I don't know. Um, but I know depending on where you live and what the different regulations are, if you're just like wanting just to like recycle this and like recycle, like throw it in your recycling bin, um, depends on where you live and what the different restrictions are where I live, um, both here in Idaho and in California, um, I was able to just throw these in the recycling bin. So I, we never had any issues with that. Sometimes they'll want to know what number is in the middle of that little like recycling, um, sign. Um, and if it's a certain number or more or less then they want it or they don't want it. So, um, I would just check to see like where you live to see if you could pop these in the recycling bin or you can totally repurpose these yourself. So you can use these as jewelry holders, earring holders. Um, you can use this for paints to keep paints fresh, which is fantastic. Um, there's all kinds of uses for this. If you just like go to Google or go to Pinterest and type in like repurposing Scentsy clamshells, you'll find all kinds of things. You can put quarters in here, like change and all kinds of stuff. So if you wanted to repurpose yourself, you totally can. Otherwise you should be able to recycle them just by throwing them in the recycle bin if you wanted to. But in terms of like a Scentsy recycling program to like send the clamshells back, there isn't one. And I don't know that they would do that, but I think it, it would be a cool concept. I just don't know like, how far out that would be or anything like that. So I hope that helps. Thanks so much, Karen. Okay, next one is from our friend Josie and Josie says, I love all things Scentsy and cannot get enough wax. Same sis. <laughs> However, I've noticed that my wax bars are getting juicy really quickly. I know that doesn't impact the performance, but what can I do to prevent the wax bars from getting juicy? Um, so, and what I, I did pull one of my juicy bars <laughs> in case you are new here and you have no idea what we're talking about. Hello and welcome. This is a juicy Scentsy bar. <laughs> so you will see how like it looks wet or juicy. <laughs> um, this is the fragrance oils that are just kind of like pulling up um, and there's nothing that you can do to avoid that except just make sure like some are ju it's just gonna happen happy birthday is one that gets super juicy um a few of the disney bars get pretty juicy pretty quickly and i don't know why that is i don't know if it's a formulation thing um I, ha I have no idea why that happens and some like you can keep them for years and years and years and they never get juicy and I i'm wondering if it has to do with the types of fragrance oils that they're using um in terms of like how quickly it gets juicy, how quickly those um, those oils start to separate. But oh gosh, this is good. <laughs> I'm like smelling it like, oh, this smells so good. Happy birthday, fantastic cake scent. Um, but yeah, so I would say if you have some scents that are pretty like notorious for getting juicy pretty quickly, make sure that you're not like hanging them or storing them upright like this. Um, I do hang some of my bars. I have a little, I have a bar wall that actually used to be behind me over here, but now it's over here. You used to see it in some of my videos, but now with this lens, you don't see it anymore. If you've been a OG of my channel, you may remember at my old house, I had a whole big bar wall behind me. So clearly I do believe in hanging my bars, but I keep a close eye on them because when they start to get juicy, Juicy, I pull them I don't want them hanging anymore because then the oils will like seep out of the sides and it's a mess and it's not fun for anybody involved so any of the bars that you know are going to get juicy or you see start to get juicy just lay store them flat like this that way the oils just stay just like this that's why like my clamshell isn't a mess or anything and you can see the oils are just kind of sitting just right on top there so my clamshell isn't a mess it's not like seeping out or anything because i know that this one's going to get juicy so i just will store it flat so i'd say there's no real way to avoid it except 
don't hang them. Keep them in a cool, dry place. Don't store them in the garage or anything like that. Um, if you are storing them in a bin, make sure that there's some air that's getting to it. So if that means that you don't have the lid on um, the bin that you're storing it in, or if they're in a drawer, make sure there's just some airflow that's getting in there um, and just store them flat. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Thanks so much, Josie. Okay, next one is from our friend Jennifer, and Jennifer says, what did you do with, <laughs> here we go, so here we go, this is perfect, perfect timing. Jennifer says, what did you do with your Scentsy wall from the old house? <laughs> where, uh, where do you store your wax bars now? Okay, so there's a couple of questions and I don't want to miss anything. So what did I do with my Scentsy wall from the old house? So the, so as I was mentioning just now. Um, yes. So I did have a bar wall that was behind me. Um, we had actually screwed that pegboard into the wall. And when it came time to sell the house, um, thankfully the people who purchased the house, we had asked, no, like I said, we used big dangle screws to screw that pegboard into the wall. So when the new homeowners, we were talking with them about like about some things that we we're doing and, and what have you, I just asked, hey, do you guys want to keep the pegboard as is or do you want us to take it down? It was like bright purple and everything and she wanted to keep it. <laughs> I am so, so happy because we would have had to spackle those holes. We would have had to paint it just I'm just I'm super happy that she wanted to keep it I was like that is totally fine I'm not putting screw holes in my in my walls at my new house I'm like I will get a pegboard that is portable that I can just like move around and I'm not putting any giant holes in in the new house so that's what happened it stayed with the house it's still in California I don't know if it's still purple I have no idea <laughs> um but she wanted to keep it so I'm good with it um, so next question, where do you store the wax bars now? So I have my wax bars in the, I should do an updated like bar storage video because I have it in some random places. So I have, a, I still have my bar wall, but it's just, it's like an accordion style pegboard basically um, that I can just move around, which is awesome. It's great for events and things like that. So I've, I've got that, um, these black baskets behind me, I have them, I have bars in there. They're all organized by scent type, whether it's bakery, whether it's fruity, whether it's, I have a whole basket of pumpkin scents because <laughs> I'm like, I love me some good pumpkin scents. So I've got um, so they're all categorized by scent type. Um, I also have a couple of Alex nine drawers that are in here and I have wax in there too. So those would be where like my juicy bars go because they're not, the juicy bars are not going to be hung. These baskets can get kind of messy when I'm like going around, like, like rifling through the bars. So sometimes, you know, some of the bars may like wind up laying on their side or anything. So, um, any juicy bars I'd rather just like store in some drawers that are, I know they're going to be laying flat. So there's that. Um, let me see here. Do -do -do. Not a sensey question, but I love how colorful your tattoos are. Thank you so much. She says, what are they? Um, so it's, and of course I'm wearing like the wrong shirt for this. Um, so I have a floral sleeve tattoo and then, um, I've got a little butterfly here. They don't have, this doesn't have any meaning whatsoever. And it goes all the way up to my shoulder. I wore the total wrong shirt for this, but, um, yeah, so I've got orchids, I've got plumerias, I've got lilies, um, cherry blossoms, and I've got my butterfly here. Uh, on this side, I do have, this is like such an awkward way. <laughs> um, I do have a little infinity sign that is a rose and that's a matching tattoo with my mom. Uh, I also have two um, tattoos on the tops of my feet. I have two hearts on one side that's like a memorial tattoo for my grandmother. And then my other one is just more like tropical flowers because I love colorful tropical flowers. <laughs> so I am hoping that maybe I'll get my next sleeve done on this side. I've been lopsided for several years now. Um, I am hoping to find an artist out here in Idaho who can make me not lopsided and fill in my other arm. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. Um, let me see here. Also, when you do an event, craft shows, etc., in the summer and the event is outside, what do you do with the wax to prevent melting? I've only been to one event, but it was winter and inside. Thanks and sorry for all the questions. No, that's the beautiful thing about this. This video is all about questions. <laughs> so never ever apologize. I, I love it. Um, 
I refuse to do summer events outside. Or if I were to do some a summer event outside, um, the, the, I, I won't. Uh, just plain flat, I won't do it. Like I'm not going to be miserable outside, standing out. I, I don't do the heat. I don't. I don't do heat. Um, yeah, I don't care if they have misters. I don't care if there's fans. I don't like the heat, so I'm not gonna do it outside. <laughs> so that, and that's the beautiful thing about this business too. I have the option to say, I'm not going to do it. So um, that's just not something I'm interested in. I'll do a summer event inside for sure, but, um, and winter events inside all day long. Um, the very first event I ever did was with my girlfriend who I signed up with Sensi with, and we didn't, it was, it was terrible. <laughs> It was outside, it was like in June or July in California and it was like 100 degrees. We lost so many bars because they just melted and got ruined. We lost our testers, we lost everything. So I don't know if that also put a sour taste in my mouth, but honestly, I just don't, I don't like the heat. <laughs> so I'm not doing it, I refuse. So I would say maybe don't bring wax. Like, I don't know, it's so hard because events like that's what a lot of people want. Like people want wax. So I am not I am not the summertime event person to be asking because I, I, I just wouldn't do it outdoors. So I'm not one to give any kind of advice with that because I'd just be like, don't do it. <laughs> I don't want to be miserable and I don't want to lose potentially hundreds of dollars or depending on how big the event is and how much stuff you're bringing, thousands of dollars worth of product to just lose. I'm not here for that. So stay in the winter <laughs> or go inside for the summertime. Hope that helps, Jennifer. Thank you so much. Okay, last question for today's Q&A is from our friend Elena. And Elena says, Okay, someone asked about Sean being a consultant and I wonder the same thing. My husband wants to help me too. Would Sean ever do how to pick orders husband's point of view video? I think that is such a cool idea. And while our routine is a little different, um, I, you have to do what works well for you. And if, if there's husbands that are getting involved in the business, you know, definitely do like have them work on something that they enjoy doing or something that they can really help elevate you and your business. Like you'll find, I feel like that's why Sean and I work so well together is because we have different strengths. So, um, he's much more organized. He makes things look really nice and really professional for me. I'm like, it makes more sense to just print these flyers at home, you know, because it costs more money to have them printed professionally. And he's like, yeah, but look at the quality difference, you know? So he's really like, he, it's just, I guess what I'm trying to say, find the strength that your husband can provide. Um, if packing orders is something that he wants to do and provide, absolutely. If he wants to maybe send invoices, send invoices. If he wants to be the one who packs the happy mail and sends the happy mail, Sean does the happy mail all day long and twice on Sundays. Um, so, but yeah, I love, I love that idea. And I think that would definitely be something he would totally be game doing. So, I think maybe we can totally make that happen. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. All right, that is it. Thank you so much, Elena. Thank you to everybody who did have a question. If you have a question you would like to see answered on this Q&A series, feel free to either leave your question down below in the comments section of this video, or if you don't feel comfortable doing that, feel free to send me an email with your question to rowberrywax at gmail.com, and we will answer them in the next Q&A. Hopefully it'll be next month. I'm not gonna make you wait several months because <laughs> I really love doing these videos. It just feels like you're hanging out with friends and, and I hope you find it. I don't wanna say necessarily helpful, but I guess there were like a few things that maybe you might find helpful, but I hope if nothing else, it's entertaining and you just feel like you're hanging out with a friend because you're my friend. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content, if you like the Q and A's. I greatly appreciate the love and support. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. It's not all things Scentsy here on the Q and A. Stay up to date with all of the things. <laughs> all right, you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.